We are joined by Paul Rudisill, ADA coordinator for Charlottesville. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, we're happy to have you. And we are talking about ADA transition plans. What are they for people who might not know? Well, ADA transition plans are required by the federal government under Americans with Disabilities Act. Any locality with more than 50 employees is required to have one. Okay, so it's something that's important. How do they help our community? It's important to note it benefits the whole community. Um, Self-evaluation, it goes through all the buildings, sidewalks, everything owned by the city, and it assesses barriers. So it helps everybody in the community, just not people with disabilities. Yeah, and that's really, really good to, to know. Um, is there any way that the community can get involved with what's going on? Uh, we're having a meeting in city space on January 18th at 630. And at that time, people can voice their opinions. They can let everybody know, hey, what would they like to see? Uh, we also have a survey. You can go to the city's website at charlottesville.gov and you can fill out a survey and say what you need or what people would like. That's perfect. So it's right there. Mm -hmm. um, why would you say it's so important for the city to have this? I was passed in the law for more than 30 years ago. Yeah. And in those 30 years, things have changed. Technology's changed. Barriers have been there and it's preventing people with disabilities and people in the community from just walking around. Yeah. So it's important to have so we can solve those barriers, correct them. Yeah. And it's also with a good plan, you ha you can fix stuff. It saves taxpayer money because you're planning everything ahead. That's so true. It's just better all around. Um, so where is the city in the process right now? What would you say the next step is? Uh, the city's completed all of our sidewalks. We've completed all of our parks. We're doing, uh, next we're going to do all city owned or run it public buildings and we're doing evaluation of all the city programs. That's great. So it's a lot of work, but it's it's worth it. Um, and what happens after all of this is complete wrapped up? Well, a transition plans never finished. It's a living document. So every year we can continue to assess, update, find barriers and correct them. All right. Perfect. Uh, finally, how should cities um, update their transition plans? How should other cities do this? Uh, cities should they should evaluate their programs. They should get in contact with their ADA coordinator and they should go through their programs and they should go through their buildings and they evaluate based on those latest federal standards. All right, good stuff. Uh, and what, why is Charlottesville, why have they decided it's important to update this plan now? Our old plan is over 10 years old and the gold standard is you want to do one every five years. Technologies change, laws change. So if you don't improve, you're going to be behind and it's going to make things accessible for people. Yeah, and I think we have time for one more. Okay. What should someone with disabilities do if they might need a modification for increased access to a city service? If there's something that maybe still needs to be done, what can they do? They're more than happy to reach out and contact me. If they contact me, we can modify and we can get them accessible. For perfect. And what's the website? Charlottesville.gov. All right, perfect. And I'll be able to find everything on there. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Anything else you want to add before we go? No, thank you so much. Thank you. You are awesome. We'll have you back soon. Hopefully. And we will be right back.